on your body your heart now your heart is really your engine if you don't have a heart then your your car as a body cannot function therefore you cannot live breathe or have a being and that's our focal point this morning as we are taking note on advances in interventional cardiology and heart treatment now the heart is a very complex organ and diseases can prevent can present themselves differently according to different people and different groups now diversity is needed in cardiovascular clinical trials to ensure that treatments being developed are effective but also are safe for all patients and this is regardless of gender ethnicity even age now one of the challenges cardiologists actually have faced in the past times was the lack of a specialized heart database cardiologists would spend a lot of time scanning paperwork asking you questions and then sifting through health records just to evaluate a patient's condition before they can come to a proper diagnosis and therefore a proper followed up treatment. Now I'm joined by Dr. Patil to give us and expound on more of these interventional methodologies that have come on the market uh, that are actually good for us because one of the things I like about them is they don't have to cut. I don't have to have a big scar on my body at the end of these treatments. Good morning to you Dr. Patil. Good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Vijay Singh Patel. Uh, I'm intervention cardiologist at Medihill Group of Hospital, uh, Nairobi. And we are starting uh, our Medihill Hospital in Kampala also soon. Okay. So uh, I'm basically director of cath lab in uh, my hospital. And uh, we have more than 10 years experience in all the fields, even including staff also having good experience. All right, uh, let's first talk about interventional cardiology. What is that to be exact? Now, uh, you rightly said that intervention cardio is something new. It's not new to the Western world, but definitely in African continent, it's quite new things where we are uh, doing something without cutting or uh, giving scar to the patients. So uh, from small uh, prick or small needle, through that we are solving heart problem. Basically, if there is a hole in heart, we can solve from the, uh, this interventional procedures. If there is blockage in the heart blood vessels, we are sorting it out. And uh, it's a one thing which is evolving. Nobody wants scar on body. And uh, with small prick, small needle, if you are able to solve the major problem in heart, which is, as you rightly told, that this is the main pump which is uh, functioning throughout our life. If this stop means everything is stopped. Uh, so intervention cardiology is evolving and day by day, every day new procedures. Even we are now replacing heart valves without any surgery. Mm -hmm. This is something new, mm -hmm. never, uh, nobody was thought those things even we are doing some uh, procedures where if heart is weak we are trying to boosting the heart to pump well so all these procedures include into the intervention cardio okay so is it safe to say that the interventional cardiology is going to be taking the place of the traditional cardiological methods that have been applied in medicine before yes uh, you can see the video live now where uh, these machines it's a big x-ray machine which uh, continuously take the x-ray uh, and uh, through that uh, we are just putting small needle in the groin and through that we are passing small tubes wires and through that uh, we are opening blockages uh, we are uh, closing the holes definitely intervention cardio has changed uh, cardiology practice mm -hmm. people now I studied the cardio for three years and then separate fellowship you have to take for the intervention cardio two years. So that means it is new and a separate branch now and even intervention we have now sub branches to deal with uh, pediatric uh, patients means uh, kids uh, problems deal with only the heart vessel blockage deal with uh, uh, like rhythm issues like heart blocks and all that so now intervention cardio is expanding and day by day it's become more special special specialized okay uh, with the cardiology practice i know that there are those terms that are very complicated there's the angiography and then there's the angioplasty please define for us those terms and how they relate to the practice yes uh, 
basically everybody will tell uh, somebody will in family had angiography what is angiography it's not something very big it's like a daycare nowadays procedure either from the hand vessel or leg vessel we are putting small tube and through that tube we are passing small wire till the heart vessels so the way i would have a cannula but the yes. cannula extends up to no no cannula will be here in the hand only okay. and through that cannula we can pass wire till the heart vessel over that wire small tube will go and that tube we are watching everything under the fluoroscopy that x-ray machine so we can see on the monitor where we are and once we reach to the heart blood vessels at the origin of the heart blood vessels there we give the injection from outside and through that we can see the structures we can see the blood vessels of the heart which are sitting like on a heart like a crown and we can find the blockage inside it so diagnosing the blockage in the heart blood vessels uh, is called the angiography and once we diagnose uh, again very small wires we pass across that block uh, we are putting small balloon inside that vessel mm -hmm. we expand that block and there we put the stent stent means it's spring like things uh, we can place into the vessel so that that block will open and the blood flow blood flow will be normalized it's same like a pipeline in our uh, house if anywhere it is blocked we need to repair it mm -hmm. same way we are repairing pipelines of the heart all right. Um, uh, we do have the Heart Institute here in Mulago, and they've been very efficient in terms of uh, heart treatment. And uh, when it comes to holes, especially children being born with holes in the heart, is the interventional cardiology practice actually applicable to yes. them? Yes. Yes. Uh, pediatric. I have done uh, just before coming six months old babies. Uh, procedure is called PDA device closure, mm -hmm. where we are. Uh, closing any communication in the heart which is abnormal or hole in the heart which is abnormal uh, now 80 to 90 percent hole in the heart we can treat without surgery and that's especially female child or any anyone it's uh, without surgery from the leg vessels we are passing tubes we are crossing across that hole and putting the devices which will permanently close that hole without any surgery in, in the case of children how how young should a baby be for you to actually uh, do this kind of uh, procedure it's not uh, it depend upon month? the it be two weeks yes even newborn also we need to treat sometime yeah. if it is emergency yeah uh, like if uh, some valves are closed by birth only we have to open otherwise baby will not survive so some procedure even we can do in newborn neonates through the umbilical veins mm -hmm. and umbilical artery also we can do uh, but usually after the six months uh, they are quite uh, safe mm -hmm. and easily uh, possible so uh, after six months or uh, after uh, if baby is more than 10 kg they are quite safe okay but we can do if it is emergency at any age it's not like age limit so how can one actually approach you for diagnosis looking into the matters of their hearts they have loved ones that are actually suffering from different uh, diseases related to the heart so uh, to approach us actually uh, we are basically located in a medical hospital third parkland nairobi we have their state of art cardiac lab uh, it's um, actually our mission of our chairman, Dr. Mishra, who has thought that in Africa we should give the care which is available all over the world. And that's why he bought whole 10-15 uh, people's team. I have cardiac surgeon, uh, I'm intervention cardio, then I have non-invasive cardiologist, then we have staff which are trained more than 10 years in cardiology. And where we are diagnosing the cases, uh, and whatsoever cases uh, those required interventions we are doing there only even bypass surgery open heart surgery also we are doing there no need to uh, cross the border or go abroad or India or any other country for the any any kind of heart treatment now whatsoever available like if we need to pay, put a pacemaker we can do it we can replace the valve we can do the bypass we can do the angiography angioplasty 
We are starting diagnostic center here in Kampala also. When will where that be? It will be starting in soon, maybe in a month or two months period. Okay. Where we can diagnose, at least we can do the 2D echo, which is sonography of heart, so that we can diagnose such a holes or any impaired or weak heart. We can uh, diagnose, we can uh, try to plan out what strategy required to treat such patients, and we can do uh, in Africa. Okay, Dr. Patil, this is, uh, you know, you're a private sector player, <laughs> so I know that it comes at a cost. How cost effective um, and lenient are you and the work that you do to Ugandans? Definitely, uh, these uh, procedures are uh, become costly because of the inavailability of the material here. We need to purchase a lot of things from uh, outside and they are quite costly. Mm -hmm. That makes more... Uh, cost in all these procedures but still uh, it's always a uh, lower cost as compared to the other hospital in Nairobi if you're looking at we are working at one third of it we are in Kenya we have the national scheme through that we are doing most of the, the state health, health scheme, scheme. Okay. that is actually important aspect in each country there should be some national schemes okay. so that the poor people can access to the all kind of health facility which required for them and uh, for the cost wise if you're looking it's still uh, economical if you travel across border you need to stay there you need to uh, have a different uh, language different food and uh, nobody from the family will be there accompanying you That's true. and if you are getting same treatment same uh, facilities here and if uh, baby is getting treated early or if anybody ha having heart attack treated early in time that's again important mm -hmm. then the cost will not matter okay all right thank you so much dr patil and he's a cardiologist at medihill hospital they are setting up in about a month's time here in kampala for diagnostics uh, but of course the hospital is best in uh, nairobi kenya now